Hello and welcome to Arise News. I'm Simon Pusey in London. It is Saturday, March the 21st. So who will be the next leader of Nigeria? Well, that decision is, of course, down to the 56 million Nigerians who picked up their voting cards. That John, stay with us. Okay. Um, thank you very much indeed. We're going to um, look at today's other news now, but we will obviously um, bring you um, more on that developing story from Tunisia uh, when we get it. Let's go it's to... It's obviously a hot topic and it, it wasn't forgotten by Neil Patrick Harris, the host, obviously. His opening line was to Tonight we honour Hollywood's best and whitest, sorry, brightest. So right from the off, he was, uh, you know, sort of making a joke towards the fact that... But it is a problem, isn't it? He may laugh it off, but it, it is an issue. No, no black faces nominated. Hello from Global Sports Report. In the next half an hour, we'll have all the results that matter from around the world. Well, I'm joined now by the sports analyst, Frankie Clarence. Frankie, we can't really start anywhere else but the Champions League and Arsenal. Same old Arsenal. We were saying before this game that... Arsenal always go out before the last 16. They never get to the quarters or recently in the last five years they haven't. But that's because they've been playing Barcelona. They've been playing, you know, big teams like Bayern Munich. And Monaco, well. you'd have thought they'd have, what went, what went wrong for them? You watched the game. Which gave second place Roma a small amount of hope. But two goals from this guy, Fernando Floriente, against Livorno on Monday means Juve are now eight points ahead and therefore within touching distance of the third successive league title. I've been speaking to a couple of journalists this morning and really the mood was kind of a little bit of disappointment really. A lot of them have been covering the Beijing Olympics and what a spectacle we all know that was. Well I guess I should have known that this moment would arrive. It's my turn to test out one of these things. They go up to 80 kilometers an hour and yeah, wish me luck. OK, let's go. So what? There were a few lighter moments in court today which raised a few laughs. At one point, Harry Redknapp described why his Monacan bank account was called Rosie. Thank you very much for coming oh, on the no show. Problem. Thanks for having me. A new season, a new campaign for you at the Ducks and a new contract. You've got to be excited. That's it for this lunchtime. We'll have plenty more in our news programmes at 5 o'clock and again at 6.30, including the very latest on those events in America. That's with Emma. Sean has got the weather next and I'll see you later this evening for updates. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.